Okay, we are now in the second part of the videos about tradable permission permits. So we have seen that in the first part, uh, we have seen that both of the company has successfully reduced their pollution from 40 tons sulfur dioxide per month to be 30 months. Okay, let's see. Uh, successfully. Okay. And let's see the cost. For company A, it costs $1,000. And for company B, it costs $2,000. So now let's see what will be happen if the pollution permits is issued. Okay, now I take this first. Uh huh. And this one. So now the government issue sixty pollution permits. So every company, okay, they can use thirty pollution permits okay now company A they decide to use only 20 pollution permits and sell another pollution permits to firm B so basically here we will get this number okay so company A okay sorry Okay, this is before it. Okay, so this is before. Okay, okay, back to the equation. So now for company A, they will reduce their pollution by 20 tons. So it will cost 20 tons multiplied by $100. It will be $2,000. But they sell the permits. And they sell the permits for 1500 This one. Okay, so this one works. 1,500 so basically they sell one pollution permits for 150 so because it is 10 it will be 1,500 so finally company A will need will have total cost $500 so what happened with total what happened with the company B let's see here okay let's just move it somewhere here okay Company B, reducing pollution, zero tons. So it's going to be zero dollar. Why? Because they have one, two, three, four. Forty pollution permits. It means they can use it for 40 tons. But they also buy the permits, $1,500. So the total cost is $1,500. So the total cost of the to company R, here we are, $501,500, $2,000, compared with the first situation. In the first situation, look at here, company A needs $1,000, and company B needs $2,000. And the total cost of the two company was $3,000. So now let's see here. It's cheaper for A and cheaper for B. And finally, cheaper for both. Finally, company B, they don't need to change their machine. They still use the old machine. And they will have the same emission, 40 tons of pollution of sulfur dioxide. But for this company, we will have 20 sulfur dioxide, 20 tons of sulfur dioxide per month. So the goal, this one, the goal reduce sulfur dioxide emission 25% to 60 tons per month. This is the goal. We can achieve the goal with lower price and lower total cost. So everyone's better off. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe like and comment and for another videos you can visit www.gontor.tv for more discussion you can contact me at yahoo.com thank you for watching